Hi, I am Zuzi Shekhova, Agile Coach, Certified Scrum Trainer, and author of the Great Scrum Master book. And today I want to continue on the typical mistakes product owners have. So the next one in my mind is they believe it's all about me. That's right. I have to figure out what are we going to do and I need to make a decisions and I can solely by myself write a backlog items and I can solely by myself decide on everything, on priorities. So while from a certain angle, it sounds like, yes, that's what the product owner role is about. From the other perspective, that's not what we really need in the industry, in most of the cases. So sometimes, rarely, you might be that person who is coming with idea. And from the beginning, building up the vision, and you might be the most enthusiastic and knowledgeable about that. But in many cases, it's not like that. In many cases, you're more like a facilitator. You're more like a great listener of the other ideas. You might help them to align on what is important for now and what for later. So instead of being this visionary Steve Jobs-like product owner, most of the product owners end up being more in a soft skill land, more like a facilitators, coaches, leveraging the power of negotiation, listening, etc. So maybe your soft skills are the key important skills for becoming a great product owner in most of environments. Think about it. Thank you for listening. Have fun.